in the last presentation we completed 4 cross 1 mux now in this presentation we will complete 8 cross 1 multiplexer so the first thing that we have to see is the number of data input line and it is 8 in this case you can also see here 8 data input lines from i0 to i7 so i can write n is equal to 8 where n is the number of data input line that we have already saw and 8 can again be written as 2 having power 3 okay now you already know m is the select line or the selector variable and it is equal to log having base 2 n okay i will replace this n by 2 having power 3 so m is equal to log having base 2 then 2 to the power 3 and it is equal to 3 okay so the number of select line in 8 cross 1 multiplexer is 3 so let's draw 3 select line okay this is your s0 this is your s1 this is your s2 okay now the next step in 8 cross 1 multiplexer is to form the table I have already drawn the table so let me paste it down okay there are s2 s1 and s0 three select line and uh, as there are three select lines we are having eight possible combinations the next important thing is to determine the value of the output or how it multiplexes depending upon s1 s2 and s0 so when all these three s2 s1 and s0 are 0 y is equal to i0 okay i0 will be rooted to the output in this case similarly when s2 and s1 are 0 and s0 is s1 i1 is rooted to the output so i will complete this table now i0 i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 i6 and then i7 this i7 input will be rooted to the output y when all this three are high okay now we have to see for the expression y is equal to let's see for the first case I'm having s2 complement s1 complement s0 complement i0 similarly for the second case it is s2 complement s1 complement s0 i2 for the third case s2 complement s1 s0 complement i this is i1 sorry and this is i2 and uh, for the fourth s2 complement s1 s0 l i3 and uh, let's complete the rest s2 s1 complement s0 complement i4 s2 s1 complement s0 i5 s2 s1 s0 complement i6 and in the last case s2 s1 s0 i7 okay you can see that i have not taken enable into the account like we did in the 4 cross 1 multiplexer but at the end when we are done with the implementation of this logic i will tell you how to implement this thing by using the enable so this is the circuit that we draw depending upon this expression and uh, e0 e1 e2 are same as your i0 i1 i7 and abc are same as your s2 s1 s0 I just took this different name because in some textbook they represent the data input by E0, sometime D0 and the select variables by ABC. And this is your Y. Okay. And uh, if you want enable, then you have to add AND gate here and then enable at this point. And instead of having Y at this point, we will have Y as the output of this AND gate. And uh, you will add enable here okay where e is your enable 
so this is all that we have to do in the 8 cross 1 multiplexer all these mean terms this one this one we are having total 8 mean terms and all these mean terms are implemented by using this different AND gates 8 AND gates here and the output of this AND gate is going to the OR gate okay so this is very simple thing very similar to your 4 cross 1 multiplexer the only difference is the number of select lines and the input rest of the things are same the approach is very much same now we are done with this basic the next thing that we have to do is the MUX tree which is the implementation of the one type of MUX by using the other type of MUX which is very important topic so in the next presentation we will move to the MUX tree so see you in the next one